Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to reduce file size when exporting. So all I did was import some footage from Envato Elements, which is a great subscription-based service. Check out the link in the description below. And I've repeated it a few times. It's 4K footage, so we've got about a minute of playtime here. If we click the Control M key, which is the same as going to File Export, you get the Export menu here. Now, a lot of times we're set to this, Adaptive High Bitrate. For a minute of footage, that will say that, that the estimated file size is right around 553 megabytes. That is a lot. That means if you have, for example, 10 minutes of footage, you're looking at close to 5,000 megabytes or right around 5 gigabytes. If you have an hour long of footage, you're looking at about 30 to 40 gigabytes, which is just, it's, it's overkill unless you are passing this on to another person and it needs to be flawless. So. If we're looking for more of a final approach, uploading to YouTube or something, we need to first change this adaptive bitrate down. Now, I typically just go with high bitrate, match source high bitrate. Even then, we're still gonna have a pretty decent file size of 74 megabytes per minute. Um, that could work depending on what you're looking at, but we can further adjust this depending on our settings. To do that, we go to video, click on this little video tab, and scroll down. Now, with this, Two pass can be helpful here. Uh, essentially, one pass means that it's going to guess as it goes along. It's not gonna understand what's in the future, so the efficiency of its encoding will be a little bit worse. If you go with two pass, the first time it goes through, it's going to find where all the data points are, where does it get complex, where the colors change, and then the second time, it's actually gonna do the encoding. This also allows us to create a maximum and a target bitrate. So for example, if you're doing 4K footage, 10 is probably the lowest you want to go. Same with 60 frames per second. But if you don't really care about the quality too much, again, uploading to YouTube, then you can drop this down a little bit more. So for example, 7 would probably be fine, uh, 5 to 7, and then maybe drop the maximum down a touch as well. Now the maximum is what's the maximum amount of quality. So you can actually sometimes bring this up and then where the the motion gets really complex, it can make that look better while still reducing the overall file size. Another thing to note is that if you are exporting 4K footage, make sure that where you're trying to export is actually gonna use the 4K footage. This is becoming more and more prevalent nowadays, but a lot of places, especially for just sharing a small video, uh, if it's informational or something like that, you don't need it to be in 4K. Drop this down by typing in 1920 at the width, make sure they're locked. It'll then turn it into 1080p footage. And when it exports, it's gonna be way smaller. The estimated file size doesn't usually update with this, but the actual end version is going to be way, way smaller than if you export in 4K. Those are some quick ways to reduce the file size. There are lots of different uh, varieties in here. H.264 is one of your best for just doing your typical stuff. If you're stuck on something like AVI or AVI Compress, definitely switch down to H.264 before um, doing anything as well. Just another little tip. So thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below or on our website, adobemasters.net. Until next time, everyone, see ya.